After the success of Super Star Wars in 92, Super The Empire Strikes Back released one year later. Based on the most popular move in the trilogy, the game promised a good story, lots of action and exciting new additions to the lore. While the game roughly followed the plot of the film, several changes were made to enhance the gameplay. Luke had to battle Cloud Cars in his X-Wing while approaching Cloud City, and Han Solo was carbon frozen while searching for C-3PO. Chewie even attacked Slave 1, and Yoda wasn't alone on Dagobah. Controls were very similar to the first game, but with an enhanced double jump. And unlike its predecessor, the player was able to use force powers and block incoming attacks with the lightsaber. Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Chewbacca were all playable with a primary and secondary weapon. The game was met with highly positive reviews, although there were some criticisms on the controls and hard difficulty. But overall, people loved the game and wanted more. That's exactly what they got one year later.